it's so interesting when I think about the trust barometer last year in the U.S. or perhaps two years ago when we found a huge decrease in trust in media in the U.S. and our, our assumption then was one of the reasons for the decrease was because it missed the story. It completely missed the story about the, the meltdown on Wall Street and everything that went along with it. In Brazil, I'd say it's opposite. I think the media got a lot of credit for catching the story in terms of uh, as it related to uh, government officials there um, and also um, uh, the boom in the economy and how much media played a part in taking Brazil on the global stage, uh, both inside Brazil and outside Brazil. So even though trust in media has gone down, it's still high, particularly when, com when compared to the rest of the world, and particularly in traditional media, very, very high in Latin America. Um, uh, but social media certainly increasing, particularly in a place like, like Mexico. There's a lot of scrutiny right now in the region, particularly in Brazil, mostly because the global eyes are upon it with the uh, World Cup and the Olympics. Everybody, the story there is now, as it is in the rest of the world, looking in on Brazil, can they do it? And it's a question that the media asks in one way or another every day. So um, I think as the media continues to push business, as and government needs to do its part to push business, and business, quite frankly, needs to take the opportunity to lead uh, in the complete um, infrastructure overhaul that's happening in that part of the world, uh, it would serve all three institutions incredibly well.